Hello and welcome to the online presentation of the MAP. The MAP is a merchandise allocation and planning tool developed by the MBA students at Emory School Zueda Business School, Vinny Kumar, Neha Tentiwali, and Teresa Ko. Members of our team have previous experience in the retail industry and understand the challenges merchandise buyers and planners face while planning their pre-season merchandise projections and in-season allocations. Therefore, the map was created to resolve this tedious and time-consuming process for the merchandise planners. The objective of the map is to optimize merchandise planning and allocating process by analyzing data across stores and product categories. The model takes into account last year's sales, store capacity, financial plans, as well as demand. The map also provides a scorecard to evaluate the effectiveness of the simulation, which we will talk about during our demonstration. The ultimate goal of the map is to refine and streamline this manual and repetitive process. The map would then give the users the optimal units being allocated to individual stores, allowing the users to utilize their time more effectively. The map targets at single or multiple store retail e establishments, specifically merchandise buyers, planners, and allocators. Thank you, Teresa. I will now walk you through how the merchandise allocation planning, or map for short, tool works. You can access the tool either by clicking it from the interface page or from the icon in the ribbon for convenient access across ribbons. What the map tool gives the user are options to enter different product types for which the allocation is supposed to be made. They can choose between which month, so for example the month of March, enter a quantity and hit allocate. And what it does is, okay you were not able to see that but for the month of March it just copied the set of important variables that are useful for us going forward when it comes to tracking and planning so rank demand allocation across different stores and all the key metrics so if i hit reset and run the simulation again you can see that it is now conveniently captured for me in a worksheet that where i can vary the month or the quantity and get a simple and intuitive view of how the different variables and how the different stores are performing when it comes to allocations. You can also change the product type, hit allocate, and you can override a particular month for a different quantity, play around with product and month combinations for different quantities. Two quick selection options that the user also has which may be of interest in different business scenarios. One is the fulfillment priority check. So for example, if a particular store had a higher or lower fulfillment rate based on allocations in the previous month, then we can have a higher or lower rank respectively based on its fulfillment priority. So as you can see, selection or deselection of this checkbox actually changes the priority rank as well as the demand associated with it. Similarly, overstocking adjustment is the adjustment that needs to be made for stores where the replenishment exceeded 100% of the demand. So this again can be selected or deselected based on the business scenario the user is interested in. The allocate feature so far talks about optimized allocations given an order quantity and total shipment for a period in time but the user may be interested for planning purposes or otherwise in running annual simulations and seeing how the different variables compare and contrast against each other so for running the annual simulation we'll hit this button over here we can choose any product the month is redundant here because we're running an annual simulation and for simplicity let's just continue with 100 and when we hit the annual simulation it will capture all the records keeping all the dynamic variables that we talked about last year's sales 
last month to capacity financial plan and run a simulation for 12 months. In the interest of time, we will skip the annual simulation run for the other two products and jump directly into the analysis stage. Thank you for watching this and for any further interest or suggestion or feedback, feel free to contact us at promap.tool at gmail.com. And as you can see that the simulation has completed and all the 12 months have been entered with data captured from the allocations for the, for the different runs. We'll now quickly look at how the analysis works. So you can toggle between product and store levels as well as scorecards. So between product and store level, you can get an idea of annual store performance where you can choose a particular store and product and analyze it. So for example, we can choose, let's say, product polo, store number two, hit analyze. And you can get an idea of all the three important variables, the demand allocation, as well as the previous month's rank that was used for the allocation. And this is now dynamic in nature. You can vary the store or the product to get a sense of how the performance was. Let's say you're interested in store number five and you want to see its annual performance across months. So this gives you an indication of how, st how store number five performed across all different product categories. And similarly, this can be varied as well to get an indication of how different product levels per store have performed. And let's say you're interested in the same store, but you want to get an idea of chain level monthly performance for any product and month. And again, what you get is this. You can vary the products, the month, and this, this is a three-dimensional graph which gives you an idea of what the demand was, which store number that you see, and the width gives you the allocation. So for example, store number five has the highest allocation in the month of July for the product t-shirt. But then it's probably store number six that has reached a higher allocation. So you can actually play around with these combinations and just with just the help of three charts get a clear understanding of how your products and stores have been performing with respect to the allocations. We'll hit the scorecards button where you get two different charts. So for a particular product level, you can get an absolute performance for the current simulation for all the key metrics that were defined, as well as a scorecard which compares current simulation with respect to the previous simulation that was saved either for the previous season or for the previous year, following the different deviation that would be of interest to the user. So for example, 5% deviation means that the metric for this month for this simulation is less than 5% of or less than 5% within the range of last year's simulation value. And you can actually sort these variables by the KPI of interest. So you can see percentage shipped, February is my best month in absolute performance, July is the worst, but when you compare it to last year's performance, it's actually October that's the worst, and you can do this for all the variables. So you can sort by, let's say, performance score, November is the best month, July not so much, and similarly you can see the comparative analysis over here with respect to the scorecard. You can vary the deviation and you'll get a different figure. There you see. So with this, we conclude our presentation and we hope that you had enjoyed it. Once again, signing off, this is Vineet Kumar, Neha Tanjiwale, and Teresa Koh. Thank you.